Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, you're an S3, and it's been an exciting week when it came to the tech world, from Twitter disappearing to, you know, new phones being launched. We've got our tech expert, Grant Hines, who is here to break everything down for you and I this morning. Grant, welcome once again. It has been that type of week, right? It's been that type of week. Yeah. And specifically yesterday, it was Samsung's Unpacked. So that's... Whenever Samsung do an unpacked, it's like one yeah. of my favorite times of the year. I'm just such a, like, a nerd for Samsung <laughs> stuff. But it was their flip and fold event. So yes. all the new foldable devices were announced and officially yeah. launched. Well, they're going to be launched in stores later on uh, next month. But the, the flip phones uh, are the smaller ones. They start there. Yeah. Uh, they've got a, a much bigger front-facing screen. They've all got the, the S23 processors in them. So they're much like much faster than last year's ones. They've managed to get rid of the gap in between the... Well, nearly eliminate the gap in between when it folds. So, you know... Like, I saw that, so yeah. It looks so clean. And they've just done a, basically a refinement on the, on the whole overall like, uh, uh, design. Yeah. Then we've also got the fold which was also, uh, was also re revealed. Yeah. Same story, 120 hertz processor, nearly got rid of that, uh, that crease again. Also IP68 approved and that hinge has been updated. So okay. it means that you can, uh, you know, it's dust and water resistant and it's far more durable than it's ever been, which is great because I think a lot of people are nervous with foldable phones. They just feel like folding glass is vulnerable, but it actually isn't. It's actually, there's yeah. a lot of research and development. And I think they said something like it's being like the fifth uh, iteration of this device. And it's like, you're right, this is the fifth like fold, foldable yeah, that they've lost. So it's really cool. Then uh, I was quite surprised. Well, actually, I was really excited because I was kind of cr crossing fingers for it. Yes. They did. They also spoke about the watch six. Um, I, 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 I'm a huge watch fan. I use my watch to do a lot of things. I use smart things. I open up my gates and yes. so I love. I love watch, so um, I'm really excited about the, that. But they've got the bezel back, that rotating bezel. Yeah. And then they've got the new S9, uh, or the Tab S9 series. So all the way up to the Ultra. So new tablets. Uh, which, nice. Yeah, which is huge. I see you rocking your uh, Samsung Tab. Yes. As well. But I, I really love them for art and illustration, and it's a huge push to the software division because all these Android tablets that are coming out yeah, yeah. means that we're going to get way more um, exciting software on Android for like illustration and so on. This is going to be fantastic. I know it's going to be as well. And, you know, apparently getting your hands on a fold and a flip as well, they do have something of a trade-in deal, which is huge. So you need to go and check out your local, um, you know, mobile store to go check it out. It's fantastic to get that new tech. Of course, let's move on because we've got Twitter changing to X. We've been what? chatting about this at what length. What is happening? Uh, this what is, is happening? I don't know what it is. I don't know what the innovation is. I'm not sure what the thinking is. Maybe it's just a massive breakaway from what it used to be. But... Grant, from, oh. a, from a tech expert perspective, why would a company rebrand and make a rebrand this big and also so I, suddenly? I don't know. It makes <laughs> okay. no sense to me. Because, uh, look, Elon Musk has had X Corp. Or his, yes. His, he's tried it. He, he had PayPal originally. He wanted that to be called X. Yes. Um, he's trying to rebrand all the time. Now he's got Twitter and wants to call it X. You think that when you buy a company, why did he buy it for billions of dollars? That, like, people who understand Twitter yeah. would... You, like who, uh, the branding is—it's part of our zeitgeist. Where you could talk to your grand and say, "Tweet," she knows yes. what you're talking about. Now you just got to take that away. You know what tweet's going to be called? What? An X. Oh, he's going to say. I, that's literally what he said. And when I X something, that's when I tweeted it. So tell me it something. Makes no right? sense. You're going to send. If you're going to send a tweet to a past relationship <coughs> person, oh. are you going to say, "I just Xed"? I uh, Xed my X. Across to. What? You understand what I'm saying? Oh, this it makes is, no sense. Working. It doesn't work. Oh, it's anyway. I look. I don't get it. Though. I don't even see a commercial. Is there commercial value, or is it just arrogance? I, look, I don't know. Like, it's obviously a decision that was made. Uh, like, I think the the Twitter branding was very strong. Yeah. We all knew it. It was part of our like. We knew. Yes. Everybody knew what Twitter was. We'll just wait to see. I don't know. This might be the 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 last uh, nail in the coffin for Twitter because also Threads was announced. There we go. And I don't know how many. I know South Africans love Instagram and we love Twitter. You told me to get on Threads. You were the first person to tell me to get, get on Threads. I, what do you expect? You were you were the what guy. You, you came to me and said get on the Threads. I'm like okay. Yes. And I got yes. on and. I mean, it's looking good, honestly. So for, for people that don't know, Threads is Instagram's version of Twitter, yeah. in, in, like a text-based thing. It's unlocked a whole bunch of cool features uh, that you know are behind uh, Twitter's paywall, yes. like be being able to do longer uh, tweets. <laughs> what do we call them now? Exits. Exits. <laughs> longer posts, I guess. Um, so, uh, like, I think there's a lot of potential. It's probably the the strongest contender to Twitter that we've seen yeah, because. Yeah. People, especially in South Africa, I always look at South Africa. We have a lot of our national conversation on Twitter. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> like 
and that's uh, and it's a big part of our dialogue. And we're a lot of us are on Instagram as well. So like a lot of, when we got onto Threads, boom, a lot of our followers yeah. like moved over. We yeah. still have those communities. Is that where South Africa is going to go for our short form posting? Are we going to move away from X? Yeah. Are they going to move over to Threads? Because some, what are they doing? What are they doing? No idea, but thanks a lot, Grant. We, we've tracked through the foldables, all right? People joining the flip side. <laughs> Twitter turning to X, so in South Africa, we call it And then, of course, <laughs> we've got threads as well. So what are we going to do? We're going to trust Grant, and we're going to go forward into the future. Um, so we'll just have to put, a, put a, an X up very quickly for Ewan and what he's about to do. At Ewan, what are you about to do?